Yes. And welcome to Squad Community Cup week number two, season five, and we are on the last match of the week. We have We Love Squad Community versus the Misfit Platoon. Misfit Platoon is made up of four clans, and I'm really bad. I have forgotten which clans they are. I know uh, those other guys are there. Those other guys, Lithuania, are there. And also we have in Misfit Platoons, ESPS and Slovenian Special Forces. We Love Squad is made up of um, AI, Dosen, GAG, GTK and We Love Squad as well. So it's a bit of a community feel over there for those guys. Now we're going to be fighting on Fools Road Advance and Secure V1 which is the map that we've been playing all week. And here we are. We're now just switching into the map, and what we do need to do is, once we can spawn in, we're going to quickly fly up and check that this Militia Lodgy hasn't been flipped. Unfortunately, it's a little known bug. Um, they just spawn in on top of each other. Uh, I'll be a motive mirk I'll be hosting and streaming uh, some great match, uh, a great match tonight, and I'm hoping that we see um, streamed another match the other night. Help versus Rip. Uh, they were very much f focused on Ammo Hill. Hopefully tonight, uh, this match will push uh, either down to Train or up to Fortress. It's going to be a, a good match to watch. And there we go. We can now spawn into our admin cams. We do have another admin cam uh, that's going to be floating around the sky, and that is Bacon Strip of the SCC um, organization. So. It's going to fly up very, very quickly, and then we'll give you a quick overview of the map and the kind of vehicles that are in play. Now, the Lodgy is fine. So we're good to go, and as you can see, Wheel of Squad already spawned in, ready to go. We're going to get a quick uh, cast squad so we can hear what's going on. And they, they haven't got a commander just yet. I have just noticed that, uh, and it's quite important that they, they, they get that commando as soon as they possibly can. There you go, Sergeant Stone nominated. Um, the, the longer they leave it, the longer it takes for them to actually start getting these um, the UAV, the mortars, barrage uh, as militia. So yeah, it's quite important that they do get that. Now, looking at militia, uh, militia main, their first cap is going to be down to hilltop, then across over to fortress, and we can see some move marks already there. Then we're down to ammo hill in the center of the map, and down to the bottom west corner for train station, and into the center for mine entrance again, and down to russian main. Now we can see russian main, the vehicles that they have there is the BTR-82A, which is a 30mm uh, gun. We've got the BRDM-2 scout car, we've got two BTRs, uh, and we've got the three Ural logistic trucks as well. We've got troop transport delayed after six minutes, and from the looks of it, it looks like Misfit Platoons are taking everything out, and I don't blame them because they've got a good selection of vehicles there. For the militia, we have the BRDM-2 scout car, we've got the MTLB with the anti-air gun. It does also have an MG on it, but it's not really that great, so it's a bit of a shitbox really. We've got the two technical dishkas, logistics technicals times two, SBG techie, I'm hoping that's going out. We've got the troop, uh, sorry, the technical transport, that's delayed after six minutes along with the three motorcycles on their side, but there is also the normal logi truck. And we also have the anti-air truck as well. Um, obviously, those uh, vehicles the, with the anti-air guns, very weak uh, because all it takes is one nice shot and you can t take the person off of that gun and effectively that's one person down. 
but looking at the map it looks like they are taking everything so that's going to be interesting to see what they're going to be doing are they you know where are they going to go what is that eastern road going to get camped with one of the vehicles probably but we've got some marks as we can see it looks like there's a lot of marks from both sides going to ammo hill and it's going to be definitely an interest interesting fight ammo hill is the key objective in this uh, in this map and there we go less talk more watching as they go oh there go two three four vehicles crashed on the exit not great we've got one vehicle out and there we go they're all getting out and now the mtlb and the aa truck got to uh, work out who's going to go next so let's follow these vehicles and this is the first vehicle that managed to get out nicely uh, unfortunately the other guy's just slightly uh making a mess of that now dodging the rocks and since one of the uh overhauls of falls road um we now have these rocks and there's some yeah there you go there's a vehicle flipped all it takes is just one rock and that's it oh there's another vehicle spinning out so slightly slow start for wheel of squad hopefully they're going to be um not too phased by this and we can see in the distance we've got the red um the red marks for the other guys now we've got btr coming up the main road no other squads here yet quabo uh Borstenator, nuffy blitzer golden all heading up on to the main cab now i have just seen in the uh chat we've got what who's what's the money on who's gonna win well it's a very good question i don't know i'm gonna say right now i think misfit Misfit Platoon, they could do some damage to We Love Squad. And looks like that BTR stopping short. Uh, looks like they've, yeah, they've dropped a squad on the southeast side. So they're going to be pushing in. We Love Squad now got more people deployed. So everyone's caught up. And that's nice to see. And there's Bacon Strip there flying over a hilltop. Uh, so don't be scared of that. That's just... Um, He's meant to be an admin cam. And there we go. First contact on and Dutch Poison, the first casualty of the match. Lightfoo also getting shot at. And there we go. We've got Alpha Kenny one. Oh, <laughs> now I see why he said. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I said it, Kenny. Um, and he's been taken out by a lat. Sorry, I just realised what Alpha Kenny what <laughs> actually sounds like. Nice. <laughs> and Golden, first casualty, looks like, of the Wheeler Squad team. <laughs> oh, what a bastard. Uh, there's that. We can hear the uh, AA ZU-23. Looks like he's just giving some cover fire. Don't think he's actually shooting at anything in particular, to be fair. But, you know, if there was someone there, then they'd be getting upset. Now, we've got a Missit Platoon squad over there on the western side. Uh, looks like they're taking out Xenon there and uh, helping with out Netgear and MCR. Killer24 also down, so not looking good for this flank. And Fleischer he must see him yeah he does he sees mechs takes him down let's work there oh and you can't hear the desktop sounds apologies guys that is my bad and there we go you should be able to hear the desktop sounds Crew, 
So Misfit Platoon still holding on to that eastern side. And there's those mortars coming out. That's what I was expecting. Mortars on the north side. Looks like they might have taken out CK-41, so nice start there. So those mortars not really hitting anything now. Wheel of Squad have spread out around the cap. Where's that BTR? Oh, there it is, right underneath me. So Bert Carl. Oh. Yeah, go keep, keep an eye out for those little trees, even though they look small and you think, yeah, BTO will drive straight through it. Uh, they can't. Now, we have got a bit of a flank over here. Let's have a look northwest. We've got Prickless, and Linux, and Wolf. Now, Wolf is down, so switchblade hold in this area. So, let's just go sit here and watch. There you go, Lennox in the open, and Lennox getting the drop on Switchblade. Although Lennox does go down, he didn't bandage, it, bandage enough, so Switchblade doing enough damage to... Uh, yes, um, Switchblade managed to do enough damage there. So, Rickless, only one left, he's got a, he should have a bandage, should be able to revive one of those guys. Creating a nice little uh, barrier there. God, what's this? Got subtle rod on a militia radio already. I didn't even realize there was a radio over here, and he's on it already. He's digging it down. So that uh, militia radio is serving uh, that have just to the southwest. Looks like he's got C4 on it as well. Yeah, he's a combat engineer, so C4 is on. And away he goes. So we need to dig that radio down just a fraction, uh, about 25%, and the C4 will, will finish it off. And there you go, sort of rod off, and there's the radio gone. So that's a 10 ticket loss to the Wheel of Squad team. That's not a great start. You don't want to lose them, uh, those radios at all. Ammo Hill has been captured now by the Militia side, so that's a good start. 250 tickets to Wheel of Squad, 274 to the Russian team Misfit Platoon. And that mo those mortars just constantly streaming in. But we've got Wolf and Ekat Etkatas. Pushing into the cap. Oh, it's going over. He goes over, takes down. No, he hasn't taken him down yet. Big Boss lying in wait. Oh, Big Boss gets the drop despite he is bleeding. That flashing triangle is showing that he is bleeding right now. There's a nice run there by Ek um, sorry, Etkatus, but. I think he ran out of ammo, which meant that he was having to reload. Otherwise, he definitely would have had that drop there. So, impress coming up.
So we've got Jet Flash as well of Mystic Platoon. Oh, Jet Flash down to a grenade. Nice throw. Impress. Leading out. Squad holding this um, southeastern side. So we've still got a couple of Wheel of Squad out. Oh. And we've got the 30mm BTR coming up to the north of ammo. That's not going to be good. So we've got Lone Wolf and Napster in that vehicle. Starting to move up. Have they found this hab? They have found the hab, so they know where the hab is. Just don't know where the radio is. It's talking about train station. Looks like Camaraden of Missile Platoon finding that radio. He's not Comrade Janessa, he's going to have to dig it down himself. He's going to have to dig that all the way. It's going to take him a little while and uh, for a short period of time. This hag is still going to be active, so people can spawn in on that. They, when they spawn in, they've got all those mortars to contend with. Some great mortar work, we'll have to find out who is doing that in a few moments. And there you go, that hab is now disabled because the radio is down 25%, so therefore no one can spawn in on that. See, Mex is on the hill. He's trying to push in with a couple of guys. Although Quabo and Switchblade, Switchblade's dead. Quabo's coming up behind him. And Quabo down. Big boss down. The camera shake is just purely because those forces are very close by, but next, uh, uh, taken out, taken out by Borsonator. And let's have a look, see where everyone is. Yeah, everyone's. Ooh. Ricolas taken out. Not sure who by though. Possibly Nuffy or Hatcher. There you go, we've got a couple more guys spawning in on the rally. And the cap. Very much staying to Ammo Hill. Uh, sorry, staying to Militia. Um, they're not losing that, they're still holding it very nicely. And the scout car versus. Ooh. That was Scout Car versus Scout Car Killer and CK taking out the other Scout Car from Burek and Slakov. Now, when it comes to uh, vehicles matching up against themselves, they've got the same specs. They just have to hope that they end up. Look at Luke was on this uh, was on this radio. That radio is still active now. If the we love squad team can get back, build it up, that Habs then back up and running. That's definitely going to help them out.
with those mortars. I think the mortars are actually going for the radio. Yet they are. So mortars can damage that radio if they get one hit. Just hide in the tree. See if they actually get a hit on it. Those trees will provide some amount of cover though. Just slightly a bit too west. can see both Yurek and Square 7 coming in from behind as well. There you go, the radio's going back up. And the hab is active. Nice. That's allowing, as we can see in the far, uh, the guys starting to spawn in. Although those mortars back on the hab. I think they just need to move to one degree. And look at this, we move away from the cap and we see Misfit Platoon starting to push in from the northeast, really taking up this nice little ramp up the hill. And Bert there, oh no, Bert's further away than I expected. So right now, Wheel of Squad still holding out against them. Uh, they are in the lead with 215 tickets to 214. So they have the lead. They, they're still winning right now. A big boss. Uh, he's trying to get up the hill. That's the problem when you have the low ground. No, he led out. And he couldn't even get his grenade up the hill enough, unlucky mate. But Camarada did die as well, so they, they did trade. And back up. We've got, there you go, there's the MTLB with the AA truck. What a horrible machine it is. Carl Johnson pushing through, man. Just can't play him. Oh, taken out there, Carl Johnson, on a bit of a rampage. Those mortars, though, causing a lot of issues to this hab. It's actually uh, caused the roof to collapse, so that means the hab is unspawnable. Now, this, I've just heard them shout out, Plan B Defense. They are losing Arrow Hill, it's just been neutralized and is being capped. So, is Plan B Defense to get people on Fortress? Possibly. We're seeing people spawn in there. So, looking at the map, yeah, we're not gonna, I don't think we love squad are gonna take that back right now. It looks like they are very much gonna be pushed. Okay, they've got lots of people spawning on Fortress. So, just to give you quick insight into what Fortress looks like. Okay, just from underneath the map, Fortress is just a maze of tunnels. Multi-level, and you've got to really know your way around it. Now, it's very easy to uh, defend, but it also can be an absolute nightmare to defend if you, if you get confused. And Burek taking out a... Uh, Logi truck here. Oh, yeah, it is a Wheeler Squad Logi truck. And shooting those tires off. So right now, losing the cap of Ammo Hill is going to take 30 tickets off of We Love Squad. They're going to lose 30 tickets, and they're going to and Misfit Platoon will gain 30 tickets. But not only that, they're going to lose this radio just here. We kriegen jetzt den einen Logi da noch raus aus der Hilltop. Possibly. Yeah, they're possibly gonna... Yeah, I think they're gonna lose that, yep. So that's another 10 tickets, so there you go. There's the 30 ticket loss, 157 to 236. 
and Lone Wolf are taking that. That's going to be another 10 tickets taken off the... Uh, I don't know, good, and Dandalf de Grau may actually save that radio. Who knows? Yep, they have. They've saved it. Now, if I was them, I'd be digging it down and getting rid of it myself, but maybe they need it. Who knows? Oh, this radio very much in the way. Are they digging it down? Yep, they've just dropped some C4 on it. Uh, sorry, these guys, sappers have IDs. Although, Lucas coming in, yep, takes out trading. Now, if the, if he hasn't, they could still take this. If they dig their own radio down, they'd save the 10 tickets, but if Kamerad manages to take it down, There we go, it's gone. So he must have spawned in very quickly and managed to get that going. A subtle rod already on Hilltop. That sound is the drone. The drone is moving out to the south. Oh, a subtle rod already on the radio. Now, they think it's safe. I mean, here's the commander. This is the commander. He has. Oh, he might be dead actually. I think the model's still there because he's in the um, thing, but... Oh no, the, now he's dead. So Sergeant Stone... And sort of Rod managing to... Now, it was a great position, except for you've got these crates that you can climb on and jump over. So that's 10 tickets. They've lost the radio and have on Fortress, Subtle Rod down, taken out by Switchblade. This is not looking good at all for Wheel of Squad. They need to get themselves composed, they need to get back in. We're down to 133 tickets on Wheel of Squad, to 231. Like Blackbird trying to take back this Lodgy, but... Yurek looks like he's holding on to this. He's claimed it as his own. Just having a quick look. Oh. Okay, we've got quite a lot of guys moving up from Misfit Platoons on this hill. The Flash Eager Terror Tobs. Oh, he moves and gets taken out by Lucky Luke. Sometimes you gotta stay still. Now, are they going to get uh, more to smoke to cover that? I don't know. It'd be a good opportunity for it. And as you can see, we've got the guys all on and around uh, OP Fortress. We've got Quabber down on the on the lower levels we've got the guys up on the hill so they're going to be getting a good vantage point on these guys and we can see Lennox has already been taken out he's just been revived there by Jet Flash oh nice I believe that was a lat shot There's that drone. So Sergeant Stone back in the drone. All he had to do was get revived, respawn back in, uh, and then he could take control of that drone. That drone's got a battery life, with effectively uh, a way of making sure it's not a permanent feature in the game. And up here, Mike Blackbird trading, going for that lodge again. Back. Wolf making a nice run. Let's have a quick look and see where he's going. Quite open from this corner. And there's the Logitechie heading back to main. Oh, 
Ostseite Fortress, close Gegner. Oh, that sounds like more of smoke. Now let's follow Wolf in. I wouldn't be shooting if I was him. He's decided he's not going to shoot. No, he's not going down that way. Okay, so he is going to shoot. Take that golden. Nicholas down. He didn't just go into the uh, into the cap. Okay. So he's just gonna hide. So we got a mortar smoke. Giving some oh a nice corridor of uh, cover there. Prickler's making a move in. He's got to take the tunnel entrance. And that tunnel entrance is a bit of a bitch to get through if it's being manned. So we don't see the Gegner completely umsingled. Yeah, he's not going in yet. Just have a quick look at Ammo Hill. So we can see it's clear. He can't. So Ammer Hill is still not contested really, squad 2 down there for Wheel of Squad. So as you can see it, he can't. Now going up here, doesn't look like they've actually got any cover whatsoever. Now how well does he know? Is he going to turn left? Is he going to turn right? Yep. He's going the right way. We can see that there's already Lucky Luke pushing in. So we'll come back to him in a second. Let's see where Lucky Luke is. It's coming out. So there we go, there's the radio. The radio is still alive at the moment. And no one's guarding these tunnels. You could, this could be a whole squad right, coming through uh, here right now. And it's a shame that it's just prickless because if he had a couple more people, it'd be a little bit easier. So these are the main stairs that lead up into this compound. So this is what he's going to be greeted with. We've got Nicholas here digging an ammo crate. He's not ready for it. Now, all the time while he's digging, he's not got his gun out. It's holding. Sergeant Stone, the commander there, running off. Oh, he's taking out Furbius and Sergeant Stone. So they're coming after him now. We've got Fortress and Nicholas. Get, can get people spawn in, Nicholas down. Oh, Prickless is t bleeding out. So he's managed to move around, which means he can come out of this door, and this door basically will. Um, 
And there we go. Brickless down by trading. Just a nice shot there. Fortress was going to be flanking him anyway. So great work there. Let's have a little look. So there's no real push right now. Let's have a look at Ammo Hill, see what's going on here. So some good cover. Might be a little bit open in some places. Some good cover there. You can see in the distance the BTR and the 30 mil going back to main. They look damaged. So 96 tickets held by the We Love Squad team. They've just gone under that 100 mark. Uh, 146 held by Misfit Platoon. This could, I think this is going to be a Misfit Platoon win, to be fair. Where is where is there any action? It's all very quiet at the moment, apart from down here. But it's not that exciting. So we love squads very much dead apart from neck gear down here. Copy. It's like more been taken out from train station. That could be score seven. Is he gonna die? No, he's not. Xenon taken out there. Sollten wir den Push auf mein Entrance auf einstellen mit dem ganzen Squad. Safe, wenn es geht dann noch, dass du noch irgendwie wegkommst, wäre top. Ja, ich versuche noch die Fort zu holen, wir haben es selber dabei. Hier sind Mortars. Yeah, they're coming out from uh, Fortress, so they should be landed on the Ammo Hill. These vehicles now are they gonna die to those mines? Where are those monsters landing? A bit like they might be too far. Yeah, just on the hill there. We just go have a look at these vehicles because they're coming across this bridge and there's three mines if they stay on the road, I think they're going to. They're not on the bridge, but they're going to follow the road. Yeah, there we go. There's one mine. Not quite close enough to go over the second mine. And there we go, they've seen that mine, he's digging it down. Are they going to expect the third mine, which is just there? That's kind of obvious. Yep, they see it. I mean, that's really obvious, it's just unfortunately it just doesn't dig all the way down. There we go. So, saving those vehicles. They've only lost the tires, so that's not the end of the world. That's no, that's salvageable. And the ammo hill camp. Ammo hill camp, very secure. I 
when you have to experience uh, communities like this, this is where you start to see people turtling and I'm not going to like it does get a bit boring because people are trying to conserve tickets. The reason for that is that one point is given... What's the vehicle on mine? So one thing, one reason for doing that is... This vehicle's not healthy. Uh, that you get one point for each round that you win and uh, the person with or the team with the most um, points or tickets by the end of both rounds actually gets the third point which basically decides who the winner of this uh, game is. So they're trying to keep that ticket number as high as possible so that they've got the best opportunity just in case, in case they lose the next round. So just a couple of guys roaming around. Not sure what these guys are, what the plan is with them. Just a monopole and xenon spawning in to push. Not really an objective, it's not really a, a place. Scout car looks like he spotted. Let's go see if they managed to kill the scout car. It has a killer 24 in it. Kalaski. to catch up. Yeah, Mr. Monopole dead. Xenon's still alive though. But, um, don't know what it is that they're actually doing down there. sure what the plan is. I mean, really, they need to try and push this cap. If they cap this back, they're going to... We love squad could gain 30 tickets, and then they could cause um, this platoon to lose 30 tickets. And if they do that, then effectively you've got, you know, they're back on an even footing, and we love squad could turn the game around. They do need to take this ammo kill. And I, I, I don't know if they they're just if they they've been a bit thrown from the start by the uh, the mix up with the vehicles. I don't know. What's have you doing? It's a scout car. And we've got wolf. Looking for any combat engineers. I'm sorry about the birds in the background, they go Lucky Luke coming up. Killer not hearing him run up. There you go. Oh! So, he's just sat there, he doesn't know, killer's just. About to die, probably about another 15 seconds. He's just sat there, no one knows what he's doing. Just These guys probably just w sitting to watch the uh, barbecue. Oh, killer moves off. Oh, it was attached to the ground. It managed killer very luckily able to move away and not take any damage at all. What a fluke. Sollen wir jetzt alle Defense machen oder sollen wir weiter vorne stören? Kurze Überlegung. Ähm, die Hub auf Ammo Hill. Dieser Korb markiert, ja? 
so this radio looks like it's been taken out possibly that's a 84 ticket. Those vehicles, they do need to be careful. So Amahill very empty right well not empty but it's very scarce it's not there's not many people there if you look at the map all of uh, Misfit Platoon are kind of round uh, the mine entrance and the uh, hill to the northeast of it we love squad very much set up onto the OP fortress hill Send it. Ah, the good old IED drone. Let's follow it, see what's going on. Let's see where he's going with this IED drone. Is there a fob that he could take out? Possibly, but that's all the way down at mine. Maybe he'll just take some people out, who knows. He's going to go after a vehicle. That'd be good. So he's looking around for any fobs that might tear. Oh, that's a scout car possibly down. That's the scout car down. So we're down to 67 tickets. like the shooting at the drone they can hear the drone see those tracers going up into the sky so he does have to be careful the drone can take small arms damage in which case then those IDs kind of just are wasted now if I was the commander I'd be going after Bert down there in the logic truck in fact do you know what I'd do? I'd probably even follow him, see if he drops a radio. If he drops a radio, then that's when I would send the ID in. Oh, he's coming back. I think Bert just waiting for someone to spawn in, possibly. And Sergeant Stone, now we can't see him all the way up there, so we'll keep an eye on him in a second. There you go. I think he's going down to... Uh... Yeah, he just... Knew the battery was going. He didn't take anyone out. That's a shame. 
Well, no, maybe he took AZ out. Yeah, he probably took AZ out, but not really a great deal. He's got a lot of intel. And as we see, we've got Wheel of Squads now pushing into the cap. That is not going to help him, I don't think, at the moment. Now, we should have artillery kind of ready about now. I mean, we're, what, 40 minutes into the game? 50 minutes into the game, sorry. Oh, yeah, there we go. We do have artillery. The artillery landing over here. And unfortunately, just very, well, pointless. Um, it's not actually going to get them anything there. As much as I love a good artillery barrage, this is the more interesting action because that artillery isn't going to do a lot. Looks like not many people are alive from Wheel of Squad. And missile platoons pushing back in from the western side. Don't think they're taking the cap. Oh, Dutch poison, he's pushing out. Oh, they're not looking at each other. Like Bert is moving on, Flasher. Yep, Flasher down, Bert also down. And I think that's Monopole's lucky day there. So we're down to 53 tickets. Oh, that 30 mil taken out of vehicle. So that took out the scout car. Uh, Dan Dalf still alive though. And it looks like 30 mil is just gonna hold over here. Now we have got the artillery. I can see from the map the artillery is being called in. Let's see. Is that gonna make a difference. There's no waiting uh, we love squad forces to push in at all which is a shame because once these mortars land you really want to be pushing in that team to get into the next cap. So, unfortunately, the mortars for the militia aren't aren't really that great. They help a little bit, but they don't really do a lot. Uh, OP fortress. Oh, we got sort of rod trying for a very sneaky flank. Looks like we've got, have a look at that, Mitra. So 
to draw. Can you see him? So yeah, um, well spotted to uh, uh, Hasjan, apologies if I mispronounced your name, and BR6 Synchro, uh, sort of rod taken out there by Mitra, very patiently waiting, and uh, I feel sorry for sort of rod, because he's probably ran a very, very long way. Uh, these maps are not small, I make it look easy when you start flying all over the place. But yeah, in the bottom right corner, it does say that this is Gorodok Advance and Secure V2. This is not Gorodok, this is Fool's Road, Advance and Secure V1. So, uh, just a little bit of a mistake there, apologies about that. Unfortunately, it won't be fixed for the next round either. So, we're down to the last 37 tickets. Now, just purely because there's very little action going on in the game, I'm going to just answer the questions that I can see on uh, Twitch. Uh, the birds that uh, are tweeting in the background, they there are three uh, green cheek conyers. Um, one of them is very friendly, sit on my shoulder, um, and ooh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! You gotta get along all the pipes to get to that. Um, so yeah, and then we've also got two parrotlets, which are tiny little squeaky things. So they're not touching the guys on the mortars, they're trying to find that radio, because if they can find the radio, then better place. Now, they're going to hear it down here. In fact, if they look up, they can see it. It's there. Come on, guys. Look up. You can hear it, cannot see it. Oh, yep, he spotted it. He spotted it. And mortar guy is dead. So, can he do it? That is the question. And I'm gonna be honest, I can never do this. I always fall and die. And <laughs> very good job there. Well done. Uh, parkour in squad. Nice. Well done. So that's another radio down. That's going to take them down by another 10 tickets. And that's good. Now, as he's a sapper uh, and he has an ID planted, he doesn't actually need to dig it down. Because the explosion from an ID is big enough to take the radio in one hit. There we have it. Radio gone. That's 10 tickets down. We're down to 32 yeah, tickets held by We Love Squad community and 91 tickets held by Misfit Platoon. That's This is why I said the commander really should have waited for this lodgy. If he could have, either take it out or he could have uh, waited for that radio to come up. Ja, ich glaube, die haben bestimmt noch 100. Boah. Durch die ich Fahrzeuge hat alleine, die wir. Ich glaube es nicht. Die haben viel weniger. And Switchblade taken out there, some nice shooting. Just look and see what the vehicles are doing. There's not a lot going on. It's such a shame, uh, Misfit Platoon, they could have really pushed, uh, they had some great opportunities on Hilltop, uh, they really, really could have taken that cap. Um, I think when they watch the stream back, they might agree. But we love squad, look at that, nice positioning all on and around the uh, Hilltop. Down here is that vehicle. And yeah, the 
guy that took out the radio down at mine is dead. So is his friend. 32 tickets left. Now it's just a case of holding on for as long as possible. I can see that, you know, a lot of you guys are saying, you know, each squad needs to push. You're right, they do. Ich würde sagen, wir nutzen die letzten 32 Tickets, lassen 5 Mann auf äh, Fortress und Rest drück raus. Ohne Fahrzeuge gar nichts, wir rücken nur mit dem Fraus. Alle Warte, wenn der Dude tot ist? Dann meine Verantwortung in dem Fall. <lacht> Weil wenn die jetzt wirklich auch aufbluten, dann sind die genauso viele, wenn nicht sogar, vielleicht sogar 5, 6 Tickets weniger. Wenn es noch eine fop logo finden sollte, vielleicht kann es knallen, wenn es die Runde zu Ende ist. Ist auch möglich. Ich halte mich da raus, ich mach was ihr sagt. Now, unfortunately, my German isn't oh, very good, so I, I can't understand a lot of what they're saying. Look at lie, guys, this makes for the boring games when they turtle. Turtling is. <sighs> But OWI really need to try and uh, combat this, um, and I think the only way to do it is to bring back a ticket bleed on the middle cap, you know, whoever holds it. This is, uh, this gets boring, otherwise. I think it's uh, even Bacon Strip there, he's been sat in the centre, not doing a lot, I think he's even a little bit bored now. Ja, ist schon eine ganze Weile her. Der 13. Der ist dann nur durchgefahren. Ich weiß ja nicht, wo er dann hin ist. Ich habe es von West Chris äh, nach Osten geschickt, als Latton hat. Also Jungs, äh, Bruder sagt, ich soll mein Veto einlegen gegen die Idee. So just in case you're not aware of what Turtling is, Turtling is where each team will sit on the cap that they own uh, and they'll just stare at each other from it. Um, they, they're just holding on for as long as possible to get as many t tickets uh, by the end of it. Um, obviously Wheeler Squad want to diminish the tickets of Misfit Platoon as much as they can. Because the lower that number, the better chance they have of winning the, you know, two uh, t points at the end of the game. Where's the BTR marker? Oh, got BTR there as well. Oh, geez, for that. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look. What's Chris doing? Is he a hat? Is he a lat? What is he? He's a lat. And... Could shoot over there, but he's not. And here's the BTR-80. There's that machine gun going. Takes that MCR, nice shooting. Oh, we got some mortar somewhere. Yep, literally, this this is unfortunately the uh, worst part of competitive matches. I can't want to just scream at them, come on, play the game! Oh, is Lennox making a push to get these guys up? I think he is. Inf is also on the hilltop. 
Die decken an sich sich nur gegenseitig ab. Ja, yeah, they have limited timers. The, the, you know, depending on how badly they were hurt or shot, depending on what kind of caliber um, gun took them out, depends on really how much of a timer they have. Oh, there you go. Prickless is alive. Bandage chain there. And then it's saving his last bandage for himself. This guy's doing They're placing some more mines. Uh, this BTR might bump into those mines. A 30 mil. He's been engaged, I think. Okay, they took that out. That was good work. Thirty mils just cutting through Gandalf, uh, sorry, Dandalf even, and Chris. And did that BTR just go straight over mine? I think he might have. Let's have a little look. Sure, there's a mine down here. No, he's not lost any wheels, so he's okay. And back to being an eye in the sky whilst we wait for these guys to uh, finally bleed out. We're currently at 5, uh, 25 minutes until the end of the match. Each match is only 90 minutes long. Um, short enough just because, I mean, let's be honest, no one wants to sit here and watch another 54 minutes of this. Um, so we shorten them down to 90 minutes per round. Um, although, you know, Wheel of Squad might lose 22 tickets in that time. It's very much a painful process. Where's, what's he doing? Let's have a look. Ah, as well. Oh, ETK taken out Wes. Don't run unless your gun's ready. What's going on, Fortress Mortars? Possibly. Oh. And good, there we go. What's good doing? He's a uh, lat, I think. Yeah. Coming in behind the 30 mil, which is the weakest part of it. And they are trying to repair him. Oh, good. Taking out both Lucky Luke and Napster. Now, the great thing is that the Tori can't turn as fast as Gerd can run. Uh, certainly at this uh, close proximity. Bit of damage taken to the 30 mil. Not a great deal though. We have now a bit of a higher ammo hill in the west. It's marked. Scott 5 now. Oh, good taken out by the guys up the hill. Oh, the BDI bus has, I think, no motor anymore. So they've got good marks on it now. They know where it is. Perhaps they could send a drone out, maybe? Oh, okay, looks like we have a couple of guys going after towards the radio down here. So they get to the lodge, just a little bit short of that radio. If they take that down, again, another 10 tickets taken away from Misfit Platoon. Squad 7, looks like he's been shot 
by Sotorod as he's come out of the main base, possibly. But let's just have a, a quick look, uh, whilst we're waiting to see what else happens, uh, let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. So we've got Sergeant Stone as the command for militia, airborne as command there, 139 kills to 172. The Russian team always does do a lot better uh, with the scopes against militia, it's the quality of weapons are just better. We've got 78 revised to 119, so... Uh, Missit Platoon also doing a great job on reviving, although downs uh, in caps. Uh, Miss, sorry, Wheel of Squad are beating um, the Misfit Platoon, and it's like is that another lat shot on the vehicle? No, it's not. So down to twenty tickets. to 77 and 21 minutes left of the match so overall some really good scores there that's got seven and four coming out of the main now i think they are squad leakers so oh no He's got a lack kit. Now that 30 mil, just to give you an idea, is worth 10 tickets. It's the, the highest scoring vehicle on the Russian side. So if they do take it, that's going to take them down to 59. It's going to be a good day. Hatcher running as fast as his little legs can carry him with that lap. There you go. There's a lap shot on it. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, that's a shame. Napster getting the vehicle out of there. Popping that engine smoke, which is blinded us as much as it is the enemies. He's got to make sure he doesn't get stuck on these little logs, tree stumps, trees, and rocks. And Dan Dalf still coming. Percy Mills going to get safe. Oh, it missed. It missed. That was a nice shot, but unlucky. Naps has got a very... Tickets. Have we love squad pushed out? Oh, they pushed out a little bit. I mean, they're getting a bit bolder. And look at that subtle rod all the way to the north. Let's go see what he's doing. Down to 15 tickets. This rate might go to time. Down with the bush. So, 15 tickets left. Sort of rod and Budder. Budder spotted him. And nice shooting there by Subtle. I mean, he has both trees there. It was a very narrow uh, gap to shoot between. And as you can see, Sort of rod has drawn the attention of uh, Paprika Dose. 
Rika dose, um, and a guy that's at that one. Dirk, I think it is, possibly. Yeah. So, Sussurad sneaking his way through. Nuffy, they're moving up, it seems. Apologies if you are finding that I am struggling to stream some interesting stuff. Uh, that's because there is literally not very much going on that is very interesting right now. Um, oh. Let's go show you the artillery. At least you can see that this time. And uh, Sotorod is dead. Now you can see how beautiful this game is by seeing the artillery and the shockwaves. to 10 tickets. That sounded like a vehicle may have been killed. There's a lodgy actually on that north side. Yep, that was the lodgy that has gone. We can see the flaming wreck just there, uh, just to the bottom left of Quabo on the screen. Got a couple of Wheel of Squad guys, looks like they've made it through. No, no, I say that. There you go, dead. So there's all the excitement gone for that one. Uh, those two guys spawn back in down there, setting some more mines. Are they going to go after the radio? I hope so, because then it could be interesting. And we have 14 minutes left of the match and 10 tickets. Um, Spoonie, I am going to say this, I am not going to try and pronounce some of the words that I hear in German and ask Bacon to translate them. One, I don't know if Bacon's here, it's very quiet. And two, I, no, he's muted. And two, I probably would make a mess of them. I wouldn't want to offend people. Oh, he is moving around, but he is muted in game, uh, in Discord. Oh, what have we got? Mortals? Yeah, we've got mortals on hilltop. Let's have a look at that. So the mortars is a fixed uh, radius. Uh, you get sporadic uh, mortar fire in that radius. And unfortunately right now, there's no one there.
Oh, okay, we've got some contact here. Sorry, we've missed that. Nine tickets. Some mortars going on, it's taking a couple of guys out. So, uh, I just saw in Twitch chat someone saying, why aren't they just hammering each other with mortars? I mean, firstly, mortars have to be out in the open. You can't just put them inside the building or inside the fortress cap, um, just purely because you know, they're not going to leave the area. Um, secondly, once you really pinpoint those mortars, and as you can see, we've got uh, people going up here and going along here. Once you pinpoint those mortars, all it takes is for the mortars to land on the other team's mortars. Uh, before you start taking them out. Um, and most of the time, unless they're confined to a really like a narrow space, uh, you, you don't really get the benefit of them because it's so open, the chances that the mortars hit the trees is a lot higher than say in an open map like Matea which is in week three um or say even al basra you know in certainly the desert areas um but the more buildings the more trees and environment that you have that's built up i mean sometimes you'll see a smoke more to hit the top of the tree and you'll just see a big plume of smoke um so that's really why you don't want to be using you want to use mortars, but you want to use them right, and you want to make sure that they're effective. Otherwise, you're just wasting it. You've got to have two people on the mortars. You've got to have one person going back and forth to main, resupplying all that ammo. And as you can see here, you know, you've got mines all over the place. It only takes one loggy to go down. That's six tickets wasted, five for the loggy, and one possibly for the person that's uh, died. And there you go. Sorsu, uh, Sorsu and Senata. Dying there. So we're down to the last 18 minutes of the game, just under 90 minutes actually. Uh, we're on 8 tickets versus 63. We will be taking about a 5 minute break in between both rounds where we'll switch sides. So we lost squad. <laughs> Not sure what the. Uh, do you guys think I can order a pizza before this finishes? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, different. But, yeah, I mean, some of these guys will be getting a bit bored. I certainly need to uh, have a little break myself. And hopefully... Oh, six gone down. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. So we've got a few dead, we've probably got about what, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe about six people dead on the wheel of squad size. So that's you know a good portion of their final remaining tickets. Um they're gonna hold on for as long as possible. I mean, really. You know, we we can see the tickets in the top right corner. At this point they might as well just give up. They're not gonna win this, they're not gonna take it back. As much as I'd love to be proven wrong. Um we're not going to see a streamer dying to switchblade there. I mean, to, you'd have to take out, what, six BTRs? You'd have to take out a BTR, both, sorry, um, a 30 mil, two BTRs, uh, three Logitrucks, and a cap, just to be even 
to be able to get back ahead of where, you know, just to be able to get a chance. I've seen games go down to one, two ticket finishes, but this is not one of those games. So Misfit Pl Platoon, for those that are asking, uh, we've got some guys uh, from Europe. Uh, that, that's um, those other guys. Those other guys, Lithuania, uh, ESPS, and Slovenian Special Forces. Not Slovenian Special Forces. Clues in the name there. They are, uh, I guess, predominantly Slovenian, or certainly founded in Slovenia, um, or by Slovenian people. And then we've got, um, I, I mean, Sutter Rod, who we saw flying around, he's up in the UK somewhere. Uh, so we've got quite uh, a mix of people. Uh, we love Squad's community, and Baker Strip might be able to tell me in Discord. Um, I think pretty much all those communities are German based. Yes, they are. He has just confirmed that. You can't hear him, but he is there whispering in my ear, whispering me sweet nothings. <laughs> so Wheel of Squad is a German community and uh, the rest of the, the group that make up this whole team is uh, our individual clans um, and I'm guessing are they German based are they? Okay so literally whole, whole German coalition going there. That will explain why they are uh, communicating in German, I guess, because if there's someone not from Germany, they won't be talking German. Unless that person is very good at German. So, down to five tickets. Here we go. The final few tickets. Five tickets, five minutes. What's going to happen first? Is it going to be a time out or is it going to be a ticket bleed? What? What is it going to be? Are we going the full 90 minutes? I'm hoping the tickets give up, if I'm honest, but hey, that's my opinion. So as soon as this match ends, we'll be going straight into a break. Um, I do really need to uh, disappear for just two moments before I um, get back into streaming the second round. Uh, we're coming up on that four minute marker. As you can see, not a lot's really changed from the map. Not really a lot at all has changed. But, you know, we've still got people pushing out. We've got, f got one guy dead uh, from what we love squad. We have. Two guys dead because there's fortress in the far corner there. Got two guys here. So we could see to come to a natural conclusion very soon. Fortress, I'm surprised, hasn't bled out yet because he died. Oh no, he's alive, sorry. He looks dead, but he's he is alive. So hopefully uh, you guys are, tr I'm trying to keep this as exciting, as fun for you guys as possible. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, I can only work with what I'm given. Right now they have turtled, Misfit Platoons turtled in, uh, on and around uh, Ammo Hill. We Love Squad turtled on and in and around uh, Fortress. Um, we've got five tickets left two and a half minutes coming up on two and a half minutes to the end of the game once the game finishes we'll quickly grab the scoreboards we're going to take about five to seven minute break we need a little bit longer uh because you know, it gets very tiring doing this especially when there's not a lot of action going on 90 minutes intense concentration and these guys must be tired they're going to be concentrating they're going to be watching those um sectors that they've been tasked with watching 
they're concentrating uh, they're focusing so 90 minutes is a long time uh, to be just constantly playing it's not fast paced we're down to four tickets now four tickets and two minutes four tickets two minutes left we're gonna see hopefully some more people bleed out soon oh and that was the su where's he got there he is flying off there that's the su-25 flying into and dropping the rockets onto uh well that big black smudge on the building. Uh, unfortunately, not really taking anyone, I don't think. But at least we've got the airstrike. At least we've got something interesting to kind of look at. It's a shame I didn't notice it a little bit sooner. Four tickets, and we're down to one and a half minutes. Safe. And this map got recently overhauled in one of the releases, uh, B18, B17, I can't remember exactly which one, and uh, they, they updated the textures, the lighting, and, and th this map looks so much more amazing. I mean, just look at the map. It is such a gorgeous map. It used to be quite dark and uh, a bit gloomy. And they've certainly done a great job uh, in doing this. Hopefully, uh, B19 will see more layers overhauled and revamped. Um, but hey, we'll see what happens soon. We're coming up on the last 30 seconds, four tickets to 55. It is going to be a clear win here for Misfit Platoon. They are going to win. There is no way. Uh, I mean, I'd love to be proven wrong, but there's no way that they're going to win with 20 seconds left on the timer. And there we have it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And end of match. 55 tickets to four. Ooh. 55 tickets. We're going to quickly grab these scoreboards. Uh, oh. They're not working. Bacon, can you grab them for me? My uh, button seems to... Thank you, mate. Uh, my button doesn't seem to be wanting to work. I'm going to quickly take them anyway, just in case. Welcome back guys, we're going to be going into round two, and you might as well listen to these guys. You're on stream guys, feel free. <laughs> so there we go, apparently every day is my birthday, uh, despite the fact that my birthday is not anywhere close it's in about four months time uh, but welcome back to score community cup season five week number two we've got misfit platoon versus um we love squad community uh, it's been such a long intensive first round i've even forgotten who's playing so <laughs> there we go lots of happy birthday meerkat squads oh, that's very cute <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so we're going to be creating a squad in a few moments. We're going to be spawning in. We're going to be checking for that flipped Lodgy. If it's flipped, we're going to have to roll the map twice just to get back onto the same... Um, <laughs> to get back onto the same uh, map. Oh. So in the first round, we saw Wheel of Squad and Misfit Platoon uh, turtle up ammo and fortress for um straight in uh, and apologies for you know any um slow um gameplay unfortunately it is and as a cast i try best entertainment possible sometimes if... um there we diamonds around oh. so Let's have a quick look. Uh, we're zooming over. We need to find out if that lodgy's flipped. If the lodgy is flipped, we will be rolling and we'll be planning an announcement out. Right, no, it's not. They are okay. So, there we are. Right. We're playing Fools Road Advance and Secure V1. 
in the bottom right corner down here it just ignore what's on my stream that's wrong Gorodok AS v2 that's that's not what we're doing we're here for fools road advance to secure now militia starting off in the north eastern corner dropping down to hilltop encampment and all the way up to the northwestern fortress then the next flag is arrow hill in the center of the map which is where i'm going to expect a lot of the fighting to happen initially this is where the power play is going to be taken this is where the land grab needs to happen down to the bottom left corner the southwest corner we've got train station which is the second cap for the Russians, and then across to mine entrance, which is the first cap for the Russian team. The Russian team starting all the way in the southeast, and as we can see, they're taking all the vehicles. Wheel of Squad are taking all the vehicles, and their vehicles that they are taking are the BTR 30 mil, which is the BTR 82A. That's worth 10 points, most expensive vehicle on this map, both sides. We've got the BRDM scout car, the two BTR 80s. Machine guns. We've got the three Ural logistics trucks, and they have that all-important troop transport delayed for six minutes until it spawns in, just in case they really do fuck things up. Over on the militia, see these are the vehicles that they're taken. So we've got the BRDM scout car. We've got the MTLB ZU-23 uh, anti-air air vehicle just there. We've got the two techie dishkas. Uh, we've got the two techie logi, logi trucks. We've got the SBG Techie, the delayed troop transport technical, and delayed free motorbikes. Uh, so they're not going to spawn in for six minutes. We've got the logistics truck, and we've got the ZU-23 anti-air truck. Now, as we can see from the map, no one is, they're not taking the uh, AA vehicles. They're not taking the empty ship box anyway. And they're certainly not taking the, um, the truck for AA. Um, once you get onto those guns, it is very much a, a one shot, and then that's it, you're dead. Got someone watching. Now, we're back in to the map, so let's have a look. Engines are started. Are they going to get out of main? So, there's one, two through, and he's helped push the other guy in the right way. Oh, they almost T-boned each other, spinning out, and that's a lot better start than the Wheel of Squad community team, they did to uh, get screwed over with um, getting four vehicles stuck on that gate. Right now, in the open area here, we've got lots of logs, we've got trees, we've got um, the rocks, and it looks like they've rehearsed this route. They're very, very quickly and efficiently getting through, avoiding all the rocks, and they've had no problems. Oh. No problems yet, at least. And nice work there. They're coming up to a bit more rocks. Are they going to fuck it up? No. Nope. They managed to take them. Nicely done. Now, quick look on the map. And we've got lots of Russian forces coming up the centre. So, two logites. Two lodges pushing all the way up. You can see the wireframe of the cap there. There you go, Quabo out first onto the hill. See Missit Platoon pushing onto the hill. Carl GG Selfaron also pushing up. And it looks like Quabo and Selfaron are going to be the first to engage. They are Carl GG first casualty of the second round. Selfaron going down there. Ice. Oh, light food down. Uh, Golden down and Big Boss. So nice engagement there. They need to push hard. They need to play aggressively. Enemy BTR is south of uh, Amazon I'll, somewhere. I'm not sure where. I already have contact in the inside. So they're calling out those contacts. Vehicle engagement turn. over here, what's happening? Let's have a quick look here. Guys, be careful. And Missit Platoon got almost uh, half a squad down here, five, six people. That BTR dropping off, it's the 30 mil, taking out the SPG Techie. Same place that helped rush their Techie, although the Techie did die pretty much straight away. 
Beach probably where you are. There is one beach are on the east side. I don't know where he's going. Probably the north side. At the moment. And. That's the scout car, I believe. Yeah, that's the scout car up there, giving the BTR a bit of trouble. He's certainly uh, taking out some wheels, I think, there. I'll grab a heavy AT and take it out. Yeah, he's taking out that front wheel, so that's going to slow him down a bit. He's still got another seven wheels to get him going. And just to let you know, Bacon Strip is part of the SCC organization. He's currently uh, watching the guys play from the sky. So if you see someone flying about, uh, don't worry. It's uh, it's all good. Making sure they all play correctly. And mortars landing very close to this hab. I don't know if they know about the hab. Perhaps it was just a, let's try and throw something over there. It's another vehicle down, I think, for Misfit Platoon. Okay, three, waiting for you to check before it goes. Those mortars, if they were just a couple of degrees to the left on their uh, dials, then they would stop hitting that radio and that hat. Looks like Misfit Platoon definitely got the aggression on this flag. They've certainly got the uh, the upper hand. Uh, Ice Modi going down to Frozen. Light food coming in over the top. Takes out MCR. Frozen he's not seen. Oh, no. Has he? No, he hasn't. Frozen shooting Light Fu. Just blending into the ground there. So, train station has been capped by the Russians, that's what we expected. Ammo Hill now being capped by the Misfit Platoon team. Uh, we've got that blue diamond flashing around the cap. And they're very heavy on the mortars now. Okay, so they've caught out an enemy hab, squad 7. Uh, yeah, just mark it. Mark it. Mark it. Mark it. He sees it, he's marking it, and they're starting to move in. Javi and Kamaradan are moving in if they push in close enough. No, one's dead, Javi's dead. Kamaradan and Javi could have actually blocked that if they got close enough. But there's a couple of guys, that's it. The hab is clear of enemies. Oh no, wants to spot, spot in, Dirk Labauta. And Pampa cut a dose. He's dead, Kamaradan dead as well. Oh, and a mortar strike to the radio there. Yep, it has disabled the hab as well, that mortar taking 25% of the health of the radio out. Great work there by the mortar team. Don't think they have the radio, oh they do have the radio marked, so they have managed to zero that in. So almost full cap on ammo, so they need to get ready to start pushing down to trade. And there we go, cap on Ammo Hill, that takes the scores back up to 263 for Misfit Platoon and 267 for... We love squad. So let's have a look, they're definitely moving on that radio, I don't think they know that it's uh, incapacitated the hab yet. So 
some great control there. Just one or two people still left to clear out. And there you go. Well, Sonata's down as well. Now, Brain and Reaper really need to get them wriggle on. They need to get into this radio and take it down. Because if they don't, they're going to get taken out by the guy behind the... Um, that's coming from the south. Brain is down. Brain is down. So it's just Reaper by himself. He's a squad lead. Oh, and they've hit the radio again. So Netgear over there, Mr. Reaper just hiding between these trees. Go on, shoot him in the arse. Shoot him in the arse! No, he's not seen him! He's not seen him! He's just ran straight past Mr. Reaper! Oh my god! And that radio there on the last stages. The lodgy is gone. The radio is going to be gone. Reaper just sat there hiding between two things. And there you go. Radio gone. That's 10 ticket loss for the other team. Now, that 30 mil taken out by Slakov and Burek. Burek finishing it off with Slakov a hat. He was a hat. Nice. Nice work there. I heard the 30 mil shooting. Well, let's go have a look and see what's going on. And what a great start there. This is looking extremely polished uh, to start with for Misfit Platoon. Nice job. So just to answer, uh, miss it platoon, so Wheelie Squad need to win with 51 tickets, well 52 tickets or more, uh, and that's to make sure that they uh, can get the points. So they're calling the BTR around mine entrance, that's right, yep, we can see him. Now, just keeping an eye on these mortar fobs because we can see that we've got Wheeler Squad moving it in around Palnir. He know they know where those mortars are. Where's he gone? There he is. He's a combat engineer, so he's gonna get up this hill and into the radio. Oh, what a pain in the ass to get to. What a pain in the ass to get to. He's got to dig through that hab, then get to the radio. Oh, what a poor guy. We have the eastern flank of Hilton. Those mortars heading out. Quabo, though, is he... I'll try to get over there and help you out a little bit. Is he going to go for the fob? Has he seen it? He's seen it, of course he has. Sort of rod spawning in with squad eight there. He's on on route to get him. We really want to keep an eye on uh, train station. Squad two have set up. He's been found. And Shroom is coming after him. And Quabo taken out there. So Missit Platoon pushing all the way through the cap. They need to be careful though, they are 
just on the edge of the cap. They need to be careful they don't go out, otherwise that will leave the cap open. Once the cap is open, if it belongs to the enemy team, it takes three people to cap it from the enemy uh, for your team. So they have to be careful they leave some people in there just to make sure that it's not an easy cap for We Love Squad. So Jack Flash and Prickless. So Jet Flash is the sapper. Ready still 100% on hilltop. We're gonna try to save it. Okay. Where's the radio? Uh, enemy sniper is outside. Flash patiently waiting. I thought he was going to take the shot there. The mortars have stopped. There's quite a few guys at train station waiting to uh, defend. Squad 2, can you give me a rough uh, approximation of where the radio is in train station? I can send a drone with an ID. And be better in the train station, be careful. Can we get a marker? So talking about getting an ID drone into Negative. train Which station to, to take out that station. fob. They know that there's a fob okay, there. Oh, to... Let's have a look at hilltop though. We've got the UAV currently in the air. I would look for it, but we're not going to see it because it's the uh, the tiny little one. I can't figure the name of it, but it is the tiny uh, UAV. And Wheel of Squad have got in. the dig in the radio. Nice. Well done to Wheel of Squad. Palmer getting in there. Probably used his uh, C4 on the hab just to take that down as quickly as possible. And there we go, that's a 10 ticket loss for Misfit Platoon. And it's also the the mortars, they're lost as well. Those mortars doing a great job. Oh, we can hear drone. Now Airborne there, looks like he's running really fast. He's not, he's in the drone. Now we heard that his intentions were to take this to train station. So let's follow him in. He's going to be heard. He needs to go a bit higher. He could get shot. Yep, they're shooting him. Oh, they're shooting him, and he's dead. And we missed the SU 25, but the uh, ID hanging in midair. And despite it being in the middle of the air, lots of rocks and dirt and Did dust. Got to go high or sneaky with those. So we didn't see where the SU-25 was. Apologies for that. Based on the fact that the, uh, I've got to say, it's probably on Ammo Hill. And we've got Palneer in. Oh, he's going after the fob. Rumors there. Squad 1, enemies are flanking through the north side. Yeah, copy. Carl Johnson going off in the lodgy. Oh, or is he just moving? Not sure what he was doing there, really. Bit of an odd one. Look, 
Looks like we have a track north side of you. And there you go, he's on that radio. Is it moving? Looks like so. There's the C4, that's a 30 second time, he's got to dig that down 25%. Rod running past. He's running away, he doesn't realize. There we go, the, there's the call, there's the call. Sutter Rod's coming back, is he gonna save it? Got about 15, 10 seconds maybe. And there we go, radio down. They lost the fob and the hab. And Palne is still alive. Nope, he's dead. No, nope, I think he yeah, bled out whilst trying to shoot Sutter yeah. Rods. Actually, no, and there is Mr. Kenny One. I'm not going to say his full name because I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to fall for that joke a second time. So Wheeler Squad starting to get past some of the. Uh, Ah, now Jet Flash managing to get into the cap, but he is dead. He got into the building with the actual radio. Ooh, that looks painful. So the radio is up there. Sneaky, sneaky. Not the place you'd expect it, I guess place you'd expect it, but there we are, it is up there. Question is, how do you get up there? He got up there, oh, of course, go up the stairs. There you go, so the stairs are there, and that's what the, where they've got to get to. And squad two of Misfit Platoon, taking out Nicholas and Furbius. They need to uh, try and get a, a squad in there. Currently at 194 to 176 tickets, so it's only going in favour of Misfit Platoon at the moment. As we saw, anything can happen. Yeah, but I'm on my way. Go on, fix some mortars on Fortress. I'm gonna be the first day one in ammo. I'm trying to surround. So I can go to and Ammo Hill starting to lose the cap. Yeah, the there we go. It's going down. So Wheel of Squad taking the cap. If they take it, if they take the cap, they're gonna. Wheel of Squad are gonna gain 30 tickets, and Isip Platoon will lose 30 tickets. So great play. They've been slow, deliberate, taking the time. Just go straight into the forest and place it as soon as the forest starts. Ice Modai Light Fu moving up the hill, but you've Not always, good. you know, they're very much sandwiched, pincers between MCR and the guys at the top, Mogi, Flesher, and Frozen. So, cap down to about 30% capped, as it's a cap that is on my team that we hold. I can actually see uh, what the cap status is at, but when it's on the other side, I can't see. You know, Fortress being capped now, I won't be able to see that. I can see, though, that we have uh, a sick coming in. If you can get that hub up and we can have all our guys join to Ammo Hill, I'll keep going to... Oh, bit of an explosion over there, not sure what happened. And Sick does have the scout car to deal with. Okay, the hub is quite hot, so oh. watch out. I say scout car, I mean BTR. Ammo Hill neutralized. Copy. The sick does it 
Looks like he might have spotted the vehicle. Yep, that vehicle's just been marked now. Okay, I'll set the one on Fortress then. Well, can you please go north, man, because you're not doing that much down there right now. And there you go, there's the call. Commander is airborne, but Kenny, um, Mr. Alpha, uh, Kenny and One, I'm not going to say his name altogether, is uh, calling Squad 2 back, because they, they really haven't been able to push in onto train station. Ammo Hill, though, is being uh, contested Most by them, uh, Misfit Platoon. The They're well. starting to push back in on the south, so they've neutralised it. The fob on the west, we can see, has been absolutely zerged. Uh, there's quite a few red guys uh, there, so that's Wheel of Squad as the Russian team. And the capping back ammo, nice job, but they are going to lose that. So trade-off is that they're going to lose 10 tickets, but they're not going to lose the 30 tickets from the flag. And nice shooting there, Javi and Preacher Jang gone down. Let's have a look at this cap, see what's going on. So we've got Wheel of Squad pushing up on this nice little, it's, it's almost a, like a ramp. Uh, it's, a, it's a great position to push from and uh, unfortunately not enough people uh, protect it very well. Wheel of Squad pushing in, they're taking control, Lucas is down, Mex is still down, uh, alive, but he's not looking good. And then they are capping just a little bit. To the south though, we've got score 4 coming in for We Love Squad. And we've got that Lodgy as well. That's not going to be good. Has Brain heard it? If he has, I'd be pushing it. There you go, there's the radio down. Brain is moving. Now he needs to kill the guy that's unloading. If he kills the guy unloading, that that means that they can't there's get... In the north has any supplies in there you go, the, yeah, the yeah. hab is down, we can see the sticks. And... I think that ricocheted. I mean it hit, but it looked like it kind of ricocheted a bit. The hab is down, now the hab has not been built up. Enemy Have they forgotten? Nope, they haven't forgotten. There you go. Switchblade coming back. Noofy there as well. There you go. Brain is down. Unlucky Brain. And that flag is neutral. We can't see anyone capping. And it looks like there's a fob mark over there that's been taken down as well. Yep, there we go. If there was a fob over there, it's definitely gone now. Squad 2 still down at the south side. Not sure why. Squad 2 returning, Tim. We have got Golden from Widow Squad moving, it looks like, up to Fortress. We've got a couple of Misfit Platoon guys up there already. Right now, Misfit Platoon have the lead, 156 uh, tickets to 134. Um, looks like he's just having a nap, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. We'll find out. So I think they need to get this Lodgy back. And we've got some guys, yeah, there you go, Mr. Reaper and Javi pushing through, Hatcher taken out, Killer taken out, nice shooting, well done. And that's the Lodgy back in their control. They might even save the guy as well. So Ammo Hill, they say he's going neutral, but it is in control of Wheel of Squad. Wheel of Squad have the control on it, brain, one before. shot taken out, wow. Time. Mex is still alive. I need to stop calling their names out. 
as soon as I call their names out, they die. Mex has just died to a fantastic grenade. I'm going to assume that that was Netgear. If it wasn't, well, congratulations, Netgear. You've been attributed with that amazing grenade uh, that has just taken him out. So squad two, yeah, they're back up at Fortress. It looks like a mishit platoon now being defensive. Okay, I see there's a lot of people spawning on. So Ammo Hill is right, right now gonna fortress, be capped so by Wheel of Squad. But let's have a look what's going on up here. Selfiron is up here. We've got almost a full squad of Wheel, Wheel of Squad right up here. Stay on the rallies for now, and if we oh. manage to clear a little bit, then we can push high in there. That's the bikes, be careful, it's not got an ID on it, mate. And I'm just so curious, yeah, those bikes worth one ticket each. So every ticket helps. So they're just camping that road. And there's a lone wolver. That's the bike exploding in the background there. Golden's still just sat there. I mean, it's moving. If possible, I would suggest sending some people over to squad 1 and squad 7 and squad 6. The guys attacking them. They are definitely gonna need more manpower. We found the enemy hub on the market. Where have they found the enemy hub? Do you have more to Oh, okay, yeah. Not so far, but I I'm gonna do a legit run. And there's the mortars, mortar barrage coming in. Now, it's not close enough to hit the hab. Just gonna hit this area here. It is causing Nicholas uh, to start bleeding. The great thing about Morsus is it, it just deplaces the enemy, especially in an open area. Yes, there's trees, yes, the Morsus could hit the trees, but what it means is that area, the enemies have got to leave it. And that can really open up a gap in the defences uh, if it's used right. Now, Jet Flash, we saw him earlier on. He was a combat engineer, he still is. A sapper, rather, should I say. And we can hear the ringtone. Why? What are you doing? I mean, he's put the ID on the hand, not even on the... Um, I don't get that. I mean, is he trying to bait him to come back? I mean, right now, he's probably going to be in a position where he loses. We need as many people spinning in on that hand as possible. I mean, I don't know. The radio is really obvious to me, but my entrance is clear, so and the house back up. Really to I hate to say it, I I, I know Jet, Jet Flash. I've played with him in the past, but I, I don't get the play there. I don't understand the tactic in it. Lennox moving in. Kill Jitter. That was a very a weird play. I'm not gonna lie, very weird play. Not sure why the okay, he didn't just the go to the uh, to the radio and take that out. There you go, jet flash back up. He's now got to dig that all the way. Uh, although he does have a faster shovel, so at least that's a little bit better. Mex is down. Lennox is there. Jet flash is down. The Habs are active. This has just gone wrong. It's just gone really wrong there. There we go, we've got more enemies in the top, at the top of the screen there coming in. I am pointing at the screen, but I know you can't see where I'm pointing. And Frozen takes out ETK. Impress gets... I think... I thought he got Jeff Flash up, he didn't. Cal is coming in. Oh, takes out Frozen. Nice job there. The Hab is not overrun yet. 
these guys are dead and what's Cal doing? He's dead, traded with who with whoever spawned in. So wow, Misfit Platoon down to eighty seven tickets. I'm gobsmacked. I really am gobsmacked. I don't understand why I mean they've put loads of mines on. Misfit Platoon again absolutely uh, screwed over by this hab to the north. Um, they've got the lats there, they've got a hat there, they've got combat engineers to put the miners down. That's working well for them. And here we go, down down to Grau, moving around into Fortress. Is he going to get a rally? Let's hope. Hub over run. Hub is down. Oh, what hub is with him? What hub is What hub? What, what hub's down? Ah, oh, this hub on the north of Ammo Hill. Bugger. So, Scott 2, um, not able to help that right now. I'm going to keep watching these guys. If that if that half goes down, that's going to be a 10 ticket loss. That's going to take Misfit Platoon down to 64 tickets. I'm gobsmacked. I thought we were going to see a really strong push. It was a really strong start from Misfit Platoon. I need more people on the if possible. And on Cap in general. But th th there was some really odd play down here uh, with that Squad fob. Seven, can you get the logy from Fortress and it's... try to place a fob southwest of Amo Hill? Just okay. really, really bizarre um, choices Where's being made. Is? And I guess it, it's great for me to sit here in admin camp, seeing everything and say, this is what you should have done. And they're getting Mr. Reaper down, so they're giving away the position, they've got a rally. And there's Napster, oh shit. Oh, nice shot! <laughs> One shot on Dandalf. I, I can't see who that was, but that was a really, really good shot. Oh, good. Oh, please don't turtle. Oh, turtling at 1 hour 20. Oh. Guys, the games are 90 minutes long. Turtling is the act of both teams just coming back to a flag and, and holding on the defense. That is all, all it is. So let's have a look where those mortars are going. Are those mortars going onto that hab? Maybe. Who knows? Let's have a little look. I'd say so. I'm seeing some uh, injuries around that area. And there you go. So the hab has got the roof taken off. The radio is. Yep, it's on its last stage. There you go. And very good job there. I think that was Nicholas or Blackbird. You'll see it in a moment on the play. But those guys digging their own radio down to prevent them from losing turn to this. Great tactics. Very good job. Especially if your radio is zeroed in, it's better to lose it yourself by your own hand than to not lose it. Uh, or to the you know not to take it down and to lose it to the enemy team. Now, what's brain up to? And this is what I mean. People don't look after this little trench very well. Bobo just starts running down, taken out by brain. Brain on the move, and there we go. Enemies coming behind, but he got so far in. Imagine if that was a full squad, easily getting up into that little up that little trench there. So down to 50 tickets for Misfit Platoon. Just have a look to see what's going on. Okay, 
So Wheel of Squad almost woken up. They, they've started to really play a lot more aggressively. I mean, they're 109 tickets. They, they could win this right now. They could win. Uh, it would be two points to Wheel of Squad and one point to, to uh, Miss It Platoon. So it, it, it's certainly going to be uh, interesting. Um, if Wheel of Squad can, can keep this momentum... Shoot more straight to the ammo hill. There is no fob anymore. So, yeah, 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 it's more than like Max calling out, but that fob is gone. Copy, copy. Do we have a chance at winning it? I can bring a logi there yeah, really quick. That's dangerous. Bringing a lodgy into this shitstorm of red people, this red controlled area. I don't know if that's the right move. X not realizing that I have just gone up on his right. He's seen it. He's seen it. He's marked it. Oh, Mex finishing off Fortress. Forced. And nice job there, nice job, they've got the hab, they need to find the radio, the radio is key, that's another 10 tickets, and that's going to take Wheel of Squad below the 100 mark on their, okay, on their ticket count, we've got some guys coming back. Oh, there you go, they found the radio, the medic's on it, oh! Oh shit, Sergeant Stone stood right behind him, killing Kalaski and Impress, and wow, I, d I thought they were the, like on the same team. <laughs> nice work, Sergeant Stone. He is the command squad on the other side as well, so he's commanding. He's worth two points hey, if he dies. So I think he's picking up some of those supplies. Mex is down. Mex are uh, golden traded. Lennox is. Where's Stone gone? I actually died. I to do work. Is it working, the push and ammo hill? Are we gaining on them? <sighs> we are, we are oh, there he is. Stone up, did up, die. I've got, um, got two south as well. So... What do you guys think? Should we go for a fob? Should we go for a fob southwest of ammo hill? Or... Lennox is still alive though. 38 tickets. Um, flies on fortress is probably more... more crucial right now. And Lennox is down and sick, going straight to the radio. Oh, he's got suicide in down. And the radio's down, that's 10 ticket loss, that's down to 81 tickets. Nice work there, um, really fighting for the cause, I guess. Now, boys. Seven, seven. Go, go. Um, yeah, so great job there. Taking that down, but I don't think they're going to cap the flag. I, I can see Squad 8 trying to push in, but they're just so surrounded right now. Is, uh, accurate. It's east of a hilltop somewhere. And they're down to 35 tickets to 81. Can we take that down? That's the bike. Jet flash heading back out. Uh, Kenny taken out by MCR. Brain also dead. So there's a lot of dead Misfit Platoons. This game does look to be going towards Wheel of Squad, but Wheel of Squad need to stay above 52 tickets. That is the the score that they cannot go below. If they go below that, they lose uh, both rounds. Okay, I'm going 
Yeah. Well, they could win one round, but they could lose the tickets. And what was that? Was that that was the BTR? Perfect. I'm going all the way into ammo here. Was it the 30 mil? Let's have a little look. No, don't think it was that 30. Yes, it was the 30 mil. So that was a 10 ticket loss as well. Oh, it's very much a war of attrition. They need to kill as much as they possibly can to stay in the lead. Though I say they need to finish, we love squad need to finish with 52 tickets. I mean, if you add on, if the game finished right now, yeah, we, we'd be looking still at a Misfit Platoon win. And there's no real attack on Fortress. It's very different. The first game we saw, um, everyone stuck out there. And we're gonna see. Go on, let's let's see it. Sick in the troop transport. Oh, he doesn't die. I thought he was going to. He doesn't die. He's. Enemy larger truck going for ammo hill for the mine entrance. And that's the last 30 tickets. That's the. Uh, Commander effectively, the commander voice shouting out, the last 30 tickets, hold on. They got a fobble with that logic? No, they didn't. Okay, we're bringing logic truck to the ammo hill on the main road south. It's marked. There you go, there's that radio down. As I have, Fleischer is moving around. So Lone Wolver needs to get that built so that he can let the team spawn in. Now it's really important they don't all give up because if they all give up. Oh, Napster's down. Fleischer's still alive. Wolver really needs to get that hab up. Personally, I'd be digging rather than getting ready to shoot. Yeah, I there you go, Flasher down, okay, so paid off. No, it didn't, because there's Killer24 on the left. That's why you keep digging. Aspie down. There you go, that hab is gonna get overrun. Um, is Brain going to try and build it up? They need to get the fob up. Brain's getting shot. He's dead. Sorso is taking him out. Oh, what a shame. Uh, we'll say, bit of crap placement there. Uh, I think it's uh, just a bit too open, bit not enough cover. But when you're in the uh, shit, you do really need to uh, try and get get something down as quickly as possible. Now, I can see we've got another radio up here already. We've got Kamaradan pushing in. Oh! Jumps the hill, takes out two people. Trading is still alive. That's it. Dance behind the tree. Kamaradan takes him out. Nice job. Again, another situation. A hab not being built up. If he built that hab, it could have actually uh, given him some cover to hide behind. Kamaradan shot in the back as he turns south by Golden. 17 tickets to 65. Just to have a quick look at the scores. Uh, Russia, 182 kills, 164. They're good numbers. And there you go, they go. Oh, the radio, so the mortar's gonna land, and it's almost in a nice bowl, it's gonna kill a couple of guys. That hab going up. 
So 20 seconds flight time. Those mortars leaving the tubes. We can hear the dull foot from the uh, mortars. And here they go. They're landing. They're smoke. I smoke. What? Why are they sending smoke? What? I'm confused. I don't think they meant to send smoke. I think they meant to send HE. Oh, but there you go. There's the HE. Six tickets left. Two misfit platoons. Five. And there we have it, minor defeat, 64 tickets to We Love Squad, that gives them a grand total of 68 tickets, Misfit Platoons having 55. Uh, I don't think they're in the mood. <laughs> They sound a bit deflated after that, and I don't blame them. They were such, they had such a great start, but unfortunately they weren't able to take it all the way through to the win. So that leaves Wheel of Squad on 68 tickets, with Misfit Platoons taking 55, and that is a 2-1 win to Wheel of Squad. Mm -hmm.